everybody hi everybody today we're going to talk about um, cloud sql and we're going to connect using the wordpress simple wordpress so you know i was creating the database let's see this great create it demands so many times so much time and it's still creating so first thing i did here okay it's still creating i get my instance connection name because you're going to connect by the private ip and from the instance connection name you use to what you need to do first for example i have here two virtual machines and already ssh one of those i'm going to show you guys here so you're going to download the sql proxy okay this is my instance connection name which i showed you guys from the sql So, using the SQL proxy, you enable this connection name. Okay, that's I can leave it here. So now I'm gonna run the SQL proxy to to, to listen to that port. Okay, so I just wait in the database to be created. Apparently, looks like it's created. Okay. You see the check screen so now we come in here we're going to enable the sql proxy this is what we need cloud sql proxy instance the our instance at the port our instance connection name is enabling ready for new connections great now what we're going to do we are going to to use the the WordPress so what we do now we're going to check the AP address of the let me just go to the virtual machines in a second okay here is in this this one here this virtual machine let's okay get this EP address of uh, WordPress maybe it could get no you can get from there so let's configure that database first I have to create a database Let's come in here, create database. I call it WordPress. So now we can try to configure that database name is WordPress, username is root. It's just the password, the host, you're gonna table prefix that we didn't, didn't put anything. You can leave that. Okay, run the installation. listening here you go you got to configure your WordPress using the cloud SQL proxy okay now using let's try to use the, the private IP so in this case you're going to the other virtual machine okay you're going to use this virtual machine so what we have to do we have to get the private IP of the we are going to use this virtual machine so we, first thing we have to get the private IP of the instance so I'm gonna open a new tab okay 
private IP. Let's separate it. Good. So now we are going to use this other virtual machine to get this connected to the private IP. So what we have to do now, you are going to get this external IP like we did for this. Let's go. So our host is going to be this one. Database name is WordPress as I remember. Yeah. WordPress. WordPress. So in this case, you're not using the proxy. You're not using the proxy, you're using directly the private IP. Let's call it, for both we can do that. We can go over and create a site, let's call it Jam Software. Play with that. Okay. Yeah. It's installed WordPress. So in both cases you can connect to the to the Cloud SQL instance using or the private IP. Or if you want to use the instance connection name which I, I, I did for an example in the video before using the, you had to use the SQL proxy it's so simple to download and install you just download and enable to be to execute that J8 mode then you run that enabling your instance you call it dash instance DCP port okay so uh, that's all you have to do. So this was how to connect uh, like with the WordPress using the private IP and the instance connection name. Pretty simple. Thanks for watching. This is the end of the lab. Bye bye.